So, um, just this week's activities, I'm not gonna lie, were pretty difficult for me, I guess you could say. Um, I was just a little more confused on these activities than I have been on the past ones. I think it's because I just haven't had such a great grasp on the differences of deductive, inductive, and like the premises and just kind of like knowing those very well. Um, but I did what I thought was correct. Um, so I went through and did all of these. And so I was confused on whether we used these statements that they gave us in the beginning as one of the main premises or if it was just kind of like information for us to have and then base the arguments off of it or just to have them to like, I don't know. So I was a little confused with that, but I did the best that I thought I did. Um, I had one, two, three, four, five out of the eight that were deductive. And then I had one, two, and three that were inductive. And all of my inductive were strong arguments um, with true premises and not having any key evidence ignored. So then making it cogent. And then my deductive ones, I had one, two, three, four of them that I said were invalid just because the conclusion um, had a chance of being false. And so I did that based off of the beginning information that I was given um, before the activities page. So on the first page, um, based off of those, I then the conclusions were like made no sense and couldn't have been true. So because of that, I chose that since it's possible for the conclusions to be false, that they were invalid. Um, but then again, like I said, I was kind of confused a little bit on exactly whether I was doing it right or interpreting them right. But I did the best I can. And obviously I now know that like this is, this showed me that this topic in this chapter is definitely something I want to kind of go back and um, review more and like see more examples and do a little more work on it just so I could get that better understanding. But um, other than that, I think it's still interesting that I love that we get to do activities within this workbook. So it's not just us reading um, a bunch of different stuff and then not really using it or trying it out. So yeah, that was it for this week.